Guys, I woke up to a mage rework. Did you, are you guys seeing? Are you guys seeing that as well? I guess we should probably take a look at it then. Upcoming mage redesigns in patch 10.1.5. Rune of power removed in new capstones. What are what are capstones, by the way? Someone fill me in on that real quick. So that means like the ending talents, then probably right. All right, I have not read this yet. I just kind of glanced at it. I saw that it existed. Well, I guess we should start reading it then. Hello, fellow mages. Hi, Blizzard. And the Fractures of Time PTR. Fractures in Time, my bad. We have updates coming to the both uh, both the class and arcane talent trees. We're also working on changes for Fire and Frost and future PTR builds. Below, we'll cover some high-level changes. Sure. Class changes. Current mage class tree has a lot of variety of talents, which offer a variety of utility and survivability uh, options. Is that... Is that true? <clears throat> but uh, with its current layout, a lot of the choices feel difficult to navigate. This is due to the nature of the current capstones and how impactful they are uh, to the overall rotation for each of the specs. In the new patch, we're making few changes such as some abilities baseline, removing Rune of Power, a slightly new tree layout, and adding three new capstone abilities to replace Shifting and Meteor. We'll highlight some of the larger changes below. Okay, I'm liking the sound of that. Shifting was always difficult, or it, it felt like a go-to, so you always had to go for it. I hope it's in a more accessible position. And Meteor, guys, Meteor, Meteor, Omega lol. Alright, <clears throat> we're removing Rune of Power from the class tree and shifting some of its, uh, some of its lost power directly into all mage abilities that deal damage. While the decision to remove Rune of Power wasn't easy, we feel it's best for the long-term health of the class. Fighting within Rune of Power is almost mandatory to maximize your damage as a mage. Any sort of mechanic that forces you out is incredibly punishing. In, PV in Raid Mythic PvP, having a player commit to a small space for 12 seconds is a large ask, doesn't feel fun. Um, by removing Rune of Power, we're able to shift more of the mage's damage into their ability's baseline while leaving us room to further amplify their big CDs, surge, bust, veins, if necessary. We expect it to be a large adjustment, but we're confident it'll be an overall boon for mages in the future. I agree. I agree, Blizzard. Rune Power did not like that. Um, and it sounds like we're getting that damage just baked into our abilities. So that, depending on the percentage, that sounds, uh, that sounds pretty good to me. I don't know. Maybe we can uh, actually keep up with like SP, Boomy, Destro, Demo, Ellie, who knows? Okay. While the overall structure of the class tree has changed, we've made a few key adjustments that should allow for a little bit more customization when specking into your class tree. Um, okay, so that, this is kind of cool because just based off of this right away, you would always lock in the same tree. All three specs would have the same class tree no matter what um yeah the total number of capstones has been reduced from five to three uh mage capstones have a wide variety of power that offer different levels of throughput survivability or utility the difference in damage throughput and okay at the capstone level has proven to be somewhat uh, problematic for mage in their ability to feel free to customize their tree as they see fit. That's what we just said, basically. The, sh the tree is now structured to offer three caps. Guys, what are capstones? <clears throat> this ability, this, uh, this word keeps popping up here. Bottom option. Okay. Uh, to offer three capstones with the center capstone. Time Anomaly or Temporal Warp offering the only throughput and the left and the right ones were offering utility or survivability. Okay. Um, that's kind of cool. So now we don't have to pick between like Shifting, Time Anomaly, and Meteor. So maybe they're offering a little bit more survivability stuff down there, which would be dope. The goal here with the new structure is to offer a little bit more flexibility. Feeling less mandatory to pick up Shifting and Time Anomaly. Yes. Big dub. Big W. 
Three new capstones available which offer a different variety of gameplay choices based on the content you might be running. Ice Cold is a talent that modifies your ice block, so you are able to cast while it's active, but you are no longer immune to damage and instead take greatly reduced damage for a shorter duration. The other two talents are a choice node for mass invisibility and mass barrier, which as the names imply allow you to cast invis or barrier on up to three nearby allies. Huh. So the bottom talents are going to be Ice Cold, which makes your ice block into a wall and you can now damage while you're in it. I'm imagining that's the one on the left and then the middle one is still going to be Time Anomaly and Temporal Warp. And then the one on the right is going to be Mass Invis and Mass Barrier for all specs. Okay. <clears throat> Let's continue here. Arcane. Going into the new patch, we want to focus on giving Arcane Mages a more consistent way to deal AoE damage. Oh no. While having to rely on Touch of the Magi, or without having to rely on Touch of the Magi or Radiant Spark Windows. Um, Arcane also has a few talents that offer a variety of utility but feel inaccessible based on their position on the tree pathing in the tree or lack of points to combat this we've shifted a few things around most noticeably or most notably arcane barrage and clear casting and updated the pathing on a few talents okay so they want to implement more aoe into arcane i'm not liking the sound of that right now but let's let's just keep reading um we've reworked or barrage Capstone talent into something a little bit more consistent and likely familiar to Legion Arcane players. Okay, I've heard a lot of good things about Legion Arcane. Also, I was talking about this earlier with Sevark. We were saying about how this talent doesn't make any sense. It literally has the name Orb and Barrage in it. It sounds like whenever you send your Orb or your Barrage, it should send an Orb with it. And uh, I feel like that's about what I feel like that's what I'm about to read right now. Okay, Orb Barrage now gives your Arcane Barrage a chance per Arcane Charge spent to hurl an Arcane Orb at your target. This talent should give a much needed way to both send out some consistent AoE dam while also giving a steady stream of Arcane Charge generation when fight, uh, fighting large packs. That's awesome. Um, there's also a new talent, Concentrated Power, which gives you more power which gives more purpose to your clear castings and arcane explosions while in AoE heavy fights. The talent causes your explosion to echo an additional time for a percentage of its damage done. Hmm. Okay, so I remember in Legion there was a little mechanic whenever you would arcane explosion. It would, uh, it would duplicate it. It would duplicate it. We'll have to see if that does anything. I don't think arcane explosion is doing uh, too much damage right now, but... We'll see. When did these come out? These come out uh, in the new patch, so not for not for a little bit, I think. All right, let's continue here. We've also updated Arcane's. Um, I already read that. Fire and Frost. Oh, wait, no, I didn't read this. Sorry. Um, we've updated Arcane's tree to be a little bit more flexible when trying to pick up unique nodes that aren't always directly throughput. We've shifted Arcane Barrage, clear casting baseline talents, untied Reverberate from Nether Tempest, and added new connections from it. We removed Arcane Power Talent and folded its power into Arcane Surge. Um, okay, the goal with these changes is to give you a couple extra points to play with, create a more positive experience. Dope, so it sounds like they're just removing some of the point clutter. That's, that's always good. All right, so that was Arcane. Now we got Fire and Frost. Fire, at the moment, Fire suffers from a one build fits all talent tree which is problematic for a couple of reasons. The lack of choice and variety gets stale after a while, Ignite dealing large portions of the damage in single target, and AoE makes it incredibly difficult for us to separate, um, to separately tune a single target and AoE for fire. Moving forward, we want to explore ways we can create alternative AoE builds that aren't just Ignite stacking, reduce the amount of two-point nodes to free up some points, shift abilities uh, baseline such as Flame Strike and Cauterize, 
Oh, so you don't have to talent into Flame Strike and Cauterize. That'll be interesting to see what they're going to add in place of that. Okay. So it also sounds like a lot of these changes are structured towards PvE. Um, but because like they're talking a lot about phases and uh, single target builds, AOE builds, stuff like that. Moving forward with Frost, we're looking into a lesser into the lesser picked talents that offer different gameplay styles compared to the meta builds but generally underperform. Talents like Ray of Frost, Glacial Spike offer unique alternatives to the standard rotation but give their current impact and lack of synergy within the tree. Uh, they become a hard thing to opt into. Additionally, we're taking a look into the minimal Ice Lance builds as this shouldn't be the correct way to play Frost. Ice Lance should be an impactful button that is played around rather than minimally cast due to the amount of modifiers of other talents and damage sources preventing it from being so. Okay, I like that. That sounds good. There are also some talents we want to reassess in the future or in the talent tree and instead move baselines such as Blizzard and Cold Snap. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, so they're just taking the AoE abilities such as Flame Strike and Blizzard, giving the baseline, and then their um, defensives as well, giving those baseline. The amount of talents to required to make Icy Veins feel like a high impact cooldown is relatively high. That is so true. We'd like to take this opportunity to see if we can make it stand on its own a little more. Wow. I'm really, really excited to see what they're going to come up with. I'm really excited to see what they're going to come up with. I definitely think Mage needed a rework. The class has been... Uh... I mean, it, it's fun to play, but... It... You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it just has some issues. It has some issues that felt like it really needed to uh, look at. So, hopefully this is uh, going to do what we want. There's also another thing here. These are the, um, the actual notes. These are the actual notes of, of what they, uh, what they're doing here. So... That was just the feedback thread. This is going to be the actual changes so far anyways. So this looks like the Rune of Power. This looks like the Rune of Power compensation. They're getting rid of Rune of Power and adding this to all of our abilities. So that is very, that's a, that's a nice buff right there. 15%, 15% on all ability damage for all specs. So Invis is now baseline, learned by all specs at level 16. And Cantor's Flow now replaces invisibility in the ca uh, in the class tree. Okay, so that's like right at the top. Um, shifting power has been moved to Encanter's Flow's uh, previous location. Okay, that's huge actually, because that means that shifting power is going to be like in the middle of the tree. Rune of Power and Meteor have been removed. W. W Blizzard. Um, <clears throat> new talent, Ice Cold, we've already talked about this, uh, block now is just a big damage reduction for 6 seconds, doesn't grant you immunity anymore, but you can move and attack and cast spells. Um, it also is not on the global. This also makes, this also makes block off the global cooldown. That's, that's actually huge. Um, and it's located at Shifting Power's previous location. Okay. Hmm. We'll have to see about that. <clears throat> mass Barrier. Uh, new talent, Mass Barrier. Cast um, Prismatic, Blazing, or Ice Barrier based on your spec, on yourself, and nearby allies. Two minute cooldown. It is now a Mass... Or it's a choice node with Mass Invisibility. New talent, Mass Invis. You... Uh, your allies within 40 yards are instantly invisible um, for 10 seconds, blah, blah, blah. Does not affect allies in combat. I mean, surely that's that's got to be changed for PvP, right? Surely that has to be changed in PvP. That's... That, 
Because in PvE, I, I agree, that doesn't make sense. You could just completely mass your team, like do a full reset. Yeah, that, that makes this talent not usable in PvP. So you're always going to take mass barrier. And I mean, mass barrier, it sounds cool. The two minute cooldown to me is crazy. I think it should maybe be a, a minute 30. Um, maybe I'm maybe I'm just coping on that. But this also sounds like not super great. I don't know. So we'll have to see on these. Uh, massive is uh, is located as a choice node. Yep, PvP talent for Arcane will be updated. Okay, so it's gonna be updated, not removed, by the way. So that means Arcane might get just the normal Massive Viz, hopefully. Maybe the PvP talent, maybe the PvP talent will say like Massive Viz has a sh four minute shorter cooldown and works on PvP. But then it kind of like screws over the other specs a little bit because now you just have like this dead talent we'll have to see though okay accumulative shielding so this was a talent that had a zero percent pick rate basically in pvp it's now a one rank talent was well, two and barrier the the barrier's cooldown now recharges 30 percent faster at rank one um we'll see accumulative shielding now uh, connects time anomaly okay i see High Manip is now a one rank talent. Was two reduces the cooldown of your uh, loss of control abilities, such as like DB, Root, Ice Nova, Ring of Frost, by two seconds at rank one. Okay. I mean, this actually might be picked now, which I'm excited for because Time and Nip, um, I like having short DB, but again, you could just never afford it because shifting and Time Anomaly were just too important. But maybe the bottom of the tree is less cluttered maybe you can actually pick it up now um this place now heals the caster for 20 percent of their maximum health when returning to the blink location oh that actually sounds pretty good we'll just have to see if it's pickable but yeah I mean, that sounds actually pretty good. Um, Winter's Protection now reduces the cooldown of Ice Buck by 30 per rank. What was it before? 15? So now you can get 60 seconds. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hear me out, okay? Winter's Protection. Your block now has a 1 minute shorter cooldown. You run Ice Cold. And you play Block Heal. You now have a 70% wall that heals you on a shorter cooldown. On like, what's the cooldown? Would it be like a... What would the cooldown be? Like two something? Displacement is now located after flow of time. Oh, wait. You actually might be able to get it then. Because after flow of time means it's in that middle clump, right? And that middle clump, you always kind of had like some weird shit that you... That actually sounds okay. You might be able to actually get this now. Um, greater invis now replaces invisibility when talented and is located below temporal velocity. Oh, okay. I don't like that, but maybe two invises was too many invises, and then you have mass invis. Maybe we're just invis too much. Sure, whatever. I guess. Okay. Um, Arcane power has been removed. Arcane surge duration has been increased by three, and all spell power, uh, or the spell damage, was increased by 35%. So this isn't actually a buff, I don't think, because I think Arcane power did this exact thing, but now they just removed the talent that made it do that. Um, new talent, concentrated power. Clear casting makes your next missiles channel 20% faster. And causes, or actually, or causes your next arcane explosion to echo for 40% damage. Hmm. So that's like a on use arcane empowerment, sort of. But it only affects one missile channel, which, I mean, I still like that. I still like that a lot, actually. 
Um, Orb Barrage has been redesigned. We already read this, but Arcane Barrage has a 10% chance per Arcane Charge um, to launch an Arcane Orb. So basically when you're at four Arcane Orbs and you throw that Barrage in, it's going to have a chance to send in an Orb as well. That's, uh, that's actually pretty good. I can see you taking that for sure. Not in like comps where you don't want to break CC because this might break CC um, on accident. So if you're playing like sub arcane or something, um, you wouldn't want to take it. But in shuffle or like just uh, damage comps. Yeah, definitely. Clear casting no longer makes arcane missiles channel time faster. Wait. Wait. Oh, wait. Okay, wait, they kind of scared me for a second there. They scared me for a second there. Wait. Guys, am I confused here? I thought this was a cooldown. Okay, so this is not a cooldown that you press. This is just a passive that makes your clear casting work, basically. I see. I see. Got it. I'm caught up. Um, Reverberate is no longer a choice node. I don't think that talent, I don't, I don't even know what this talent does. Um, I don't think you picked it ever. And I guess you probably still won't. Um, Siphon Storm no longer grants arcane charges and now halves Evo's time. Uh, this talent's nerfed by like 75% PvP anyway, so not too much there. Nether Tempest now connects Chrono Shift and Supernova. I can't even think about what that looks like. Well, we'll pull up the PTR here in a second after we're done reading these and we can, uh, we can look at them. Um, Imp Barrier. I always felt like this talent was a bit underwhelming. Um, we'll have to see here. Reduces magic damage taken by 10% was 5. And reduces harmful magic effects by 15 was 10. Holy shit. Okay. I mean, maybe it's actually worth now. Um, alright. And then just some more things that got moved around. So, is that all the stuff for mages or is there more? It looks like that's it. Wow. So they released the arcane changes as to like what they're kind of looking to do. They haven't released on the changes um, that they're going to do for frost and fire yet. So we'll have to stay tuned for that one. But damn, what do you what do you guys think? What do you guys think of that? <laughs> 